You don't even realize I'm turning you away from your own, for your own safety, how sad you are. So, Gumi, and see if you can ooze. Oh, great. I'm gonna battle him. Two of my Pokemon are passed out, too. This isn't good. Come on, Boise. Well, Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Brandon, I am Level Up Brandon, and today we're playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. So we've been summoned to Commander Commodo's office. Uh, he's threatening to use us for sumo practice, and I don't really want to be used for sumo practice, so I'm gonna head out there to uh, Commander Commodo's office. Um, is there anything we want to put in here, you guys? Anything cool that we don't want to lose in case we're out and about? How about some Stardust? Let's put Stardust in there. How do we do it? Move all? Yeah, there we go. And the honey, a hammer, huge, I don't know what to do with that stuff. Um, this stuff we can just collect whenever, I guess. Black Tumblestone, blah, blah, blah. We'll keep those in case we need them. Ball of mud, cool. All right, we got some good stuff in here. Um, grit dust, put that in there. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. Hopefully we don't lose our charm if we ever faint in battle. That wouldn't be good. All right, let's head to the commander's office. Oh, hey, Akari, what's up, dude? There you are, let's hurry to headquarters, okay. Look who's being punctual. Finally realize you're wasting almighty Sinnoh's precious time by bowing to a sham. What? There you go again, insisting on your false image of Almighty Sinnoh as a ruler of time. My people follow the true Almighty Sinnoh, the front of the all creation and ruler of space. Ha, you could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Ooh, burn! Excuse me, are you really suggesting that you make a better use of your time than we make of uh, this vast Hisui space? Better than some, it's a miracle you showed up on time. Oh, mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. I kinda wanna play Diamond and Pearl, you guys. It looks adorable and fun. I worried you'd get lost in the pointless, vast space where you're so fond of and never show up. Ooh. Me get lost in Almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan in our world's very ba basis. The Pearl Clan, uh, uh you wish. I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. <laughs> what a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Commodo's office. Hey, me too, wait for me, wait up. I believe it was you who started this. She's got a point. You can feel the tension when those two show up. Yeah, I can hear it too. You haven't met them, have you? The woman with the re re reference for space is Irida. Irida? Leader of the Pearl Clan. Cool. The man who is going on and on um, the, 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 is the leader of the Diamond Clan. Neat. The Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan grudgingly coexist at the moment. Apparently, things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean the commander, is waiting. We should save this conversation for after you report to him. We've already had the conversation, Akari. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Here we go. All right, and if there's time, I want to do a couple of side quests to you guys. And didn't we plant some stuff in the field? We should go check on our crops. Okay, so we're going upstairs. Oi, how's it going, buddy? We're going upstairs to check with the commander, and then we'll go later on to check on our fields. I think it's even up one more level, yep. She's got a side quest. What does she have? Let's see what she's got, you guys. Hey. Oh, splendid, you came along at a good time. I'm looking for a pickled stone, you see. Would you mind lending me a hand? A, oh, pickling stone. It needs to be the right size to fit atop one of my pickle pots and heavy enough to put a nice firm pressure on the pickles. You wanna, okay, sure. Of course, I'm happy to do that. Oh, uh, there's a Pokemon called the Geodude that lives in the, yeah, we've seen him. It would be perfect for this job. Okay, I actually have one. So I wonder if I can just give it to her right now, you guys. Where'd, where'd she go? Where did, where'd, hello? Where'd she go? Okay, we'll do that later. I don't know where she went, she's gone. We'll find her. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, he looks mad. 
What do you intend to do about that Cleavor, Commander Commodo? Is it Clavor? Cleavor? He may be descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Adama, Adaman. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what do you have to us? What would you have us do? Cleavor is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan. Is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where a lord of Pearl Clan's concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats. Just like we used to be. But even folk of the Galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? It seems someone's got to do something here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bringing down one of its own? Honored nobles? I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. Ooh. Look, we don't know what drove Lord Cleavor into such a violent frenzy. Probably whatever's happening with that volcano thingy mountain, but you know. I'd like to know that myself. This is the first as I, my clan knows too, yeah. Hmm, I see you've arrived. Yeah, hi, sorry to interrupt. This is awkward. This is Brandon, the newest member of our Survey Corps. Isn't his hat adorable? Ah, I hear from Mai you earned Wiredeer's favor. Wordeer? Is it Wordeer, you guys? Wordeer? Probably. Wordeer? Good to finally meet you, stranger from the Rift. I'm Adam. Adaman, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. I don't want to be formal, but thanks for asking. But that's a mouthful. Just call me Adaman. If you came from beyond the space-time rift, could you be from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? Yeah. Probably. I'm Irida, Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords. Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? Yeah. I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleavor before deciding what must be done? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'll do it. You'd send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleavor? This newcomer with no experience? Says the leader with almost no experience. Oh, bird! Oh, oh. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing Hisui's vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If if how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give this kid his chance. Oh, he's that's a good point, you guys. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this your way. Oh wait, that's the other. I'm doing the wrong voice. <laughs> this should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk really are with all your weird ways, putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. She doesn't like it. Almighty Sinnoh made his suey vest so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. Yeah, we're not trying to control them. This is your mission now, Brandon. I order you to study Cleavor and find help us find the truth of this situation. Uh, okay, sure. On it. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. Okay, sure. All right, let's activate the guide. Well, that's settled. And there's no time like the present. Yeah. The Lord of the Woods Cleaver is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you've encountered can compare to his strength, be warned. Oh no. Guys, I'm worried about this. Am I leveled up enough? Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition Team has come to the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl clans, understand? Yeah, I get it. <gasps> Celine! Join me downstairs, Brandon. We'll cover the details of this new mission. Okay. Didn't we discover the details? 
Report to Captain in her office. Okay, sure. Where'd she go? Celine! Oh yeah, she's downstairs. This is gonna be a fun mission, you guys. I'm a little worried though that I might die and how all my Pokemon might pass out. Hey Captain, what's up, dude? Ah, oh, good. You're already here. Oh, it's Professor. Hey, Professor. Professor Laventon, the briefing, if you please. Right ho! Yes, let's get right to it. So, Brandon, I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleavor's frenzied state. But as you're aware now, Cleavor is a mighty thing. Nigh invincible, even. Nigh invincible? The security corps tried, th tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleavor when they were attacked, but uh, I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. Uh-oh. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. And you may die. Do you believe you can handle it? Uh, of course. Very well, then let us go over the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl clans revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Seats. Okay. So, perhaps a good starting point for your our research could be to find out what sorts of offerings they normally leave for this cleavor. Okay. Brandon, we need to speak with you. Okay. Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. Uh, yeah, we already knew that. That world might even be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. Yeah. So if you fell through space-time rift, that might mean you traveled through time. But Almighty Sinnoh's own... By Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it. You must have been just swimming in this divine might. Yeah. Well, I've got a favor to ask of you. Oh, amazing time traveler. Hey, I'm an amazing time traveler now, you guys. Don't just study Cleavor. Quell his frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Adaman. We were just discussing our next steps with regard to this whole Cleavor situation. Oh no, you must be the Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleavor. You heard this title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those of the Galaxy Team, of all people, for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us off in the mountains has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleaver. Now, there's certainly Bad Bud between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, we've all got to share his Sui, and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. Yes! But there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best one hope we've got. Uh-oh. You'll find Cleaver at Grand Tree Arena. That's in the very heart of the Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Leon. Okay. Leon is a brilliant child, but also a bit, well, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know. Okay. He'll tell you all about his beloved Cleavor, whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. Okay. Sh sure. On it. He's... Who's talking? Okay, okay. He certainly left quickly once he'd finished talking. I suppose he really values his time, don't we all? Adaman and my went wrong, you know. If you're to study and perhaps even quell Cleavor, you'd best start by visiting his abode. Okay. Our new heights camp would be a handy place for setting out toward Grand Tree Arena. Okay. And you should stop by the pastures too. You'll want to choose the best Pokemon to bring. Okay. Yeah, I should do that. All right, so you guys, before we do any of that, I want to do this, because I think I have, let me just check. But I think I have in my, uh, I think I've caught some. I've caught some of the rock type, haven't I caught at least one? 
of the, where is he? The Geo dude. Yeah, I've caught one. At least one. Yeah, more than one, I think. Defeated. Either way, we have one. So we're going to, um, we're going to go give this to, so let's activate that quest. So to do that, I go here and then missions and quests, missions, requests, adorable Starly. Here we go. Let's activate it. How do we activate it? Okay. We have guidance on. So now it's going to tell me where she is, right? And then, of course, we'll continue with the main story, but I Finding yourself unable to pick up the materials you come across. What? If that sounds like you, I'd be wise to lend your... Oh. Can you expand my inventory, buddy? Sure, okay. How much is it? You can carry it around even more than your satchel. Okay, sure. I'm, I haven't really had any troubles, but I may as well. Oh, that's only 100? Sure. Oh, okay. You've made more space to keep one more kind of item in your satchel. Okay, cool. That's easy. Sure, yeah, again. Okay, now it's twice as much. Is it gonna go twice as much each time? Okay, I guess we could just do it once more then. Just so we have extra space. Why not? Sure. Yeah, okay, how much? Okay, not quite twice as much this time, but still. All right, I think we'll stop there, you guys. We know how to do that in the future. Okay, cool. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, got it. Uh, maybe later. Okay, thanks, buddy. That's great, guys. I mean, I haven't run out of space yet, but I have been storing things in my chest at home, so. That may be a problem in the future. Okay, where's our quest lady? Is that her over there? This looks like a pickling place. She looks like she pickles. I forgot her name. Oh, are you here to give me a geodude? Yes, I am, actually, and here he is right here. Select. Are you sure you want... Yeah, I mean, we can always catch a new one, right? Look at him! So, wait, she's gonna sit him on top of her pickling jar to help her make pickles? That's adorable. Oh my, would you look at that? It really does look like a rock. I mean, it's literally a rock, right? And it seems to be the ideal weight, too. Oh, it's simply perfect. Thank you, young man. With this Geodude's help, I'm surely make some scrumptious pickles. I love pickles, you guys. I love them so much. Honey cake and X e e exp candy. Oh, it's candy, you guys. Let's 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 uh, hang on. Where is it? Should we just eat it right now? A candy that is packed with energy. When consumed, it will grant a single Pokemon a small amount of XP point. Okay, sure, yeah, let's use it. Um, let's give it to who should we give it to, you guys? Maybe we'll give it to Buizel. Buizel's like the low, actually level nine. Let's give it to Bidoof. Hey, how cool is that? Now Bidoof is level 11. And he learned a new move. Awesome. Okay. I want more of that candy. Thank you. Thanks. I'm leaving now. Bye. Okay, you guys. Let's let's carry on with our mission. I just want to make sure we're peppering in these side missions. Hey. What are you doing with that? What is that? Hisui is positively bursting with Bidoof and lots of other Pokemon besides. It's no exaggeration. To say this land belongs to them, really. I just don't think that humans are ready to settle here yet. Hmm. So I can get, I can store my items right here. I don't have to go into my house. How cool is that? Is there a storage box back, back at the campsite too, you guys? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna head out to Volo. Hey, what's up, dude? I certainly hope you're putting that secret back strike technique I thought you to good use. Oh yeah, actually I have a couple times. Either way, I have some super super potions here just for you. Oh, thank you. Wow. Thanks, buddy. I like him. He's cool. Thank you. So a super potion gives you 100 HP. Nice. Thanks, buddy. Okay, here we go. We do have a chest at our camps, you guys. That's awesome. I didn't even know that. Okay, good. And we can change up our Pokemon here. Need to switch up, what did he say? If you're heading out into the wilds, best be well prepared. So rest, want to see my Pokemon. I'd like to do some swapping, shopping. Oh, I want to see my Pokemon. What does that mean? Like I want to see them. Oh, I see, I can get them from the pasture there. Okay, no, yeah, we're good. Okay, I guess we will head on to, wow, 443, it's a ways, you guys. 
Let's go. Okay, where are we supposed to go? Way over there? Whoa. And we don't want to jump down because that's going to give us fall damage. So I guess we could cross that little spot right there. I don't know if you can swim across that water. But there is land right there, so we can cross that. Okay, so how do we get down there? Through here. All right. I really like this method for collecting. Whoa! Are you, like, bigger than the other ones? Look at you! Oh, my gosh! Who should I send out? Huh? <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Come on, Shinxie! <gasps> okay, what moves effective, super effective? Let's do it. Thunder shock. Yes! Should we try and catch him? <gasps> Shinxie! No! Let's try and catch him, I think, you guys. Uh, super effective. Let's get Cyndaquil out here. I want to try and catch him, though. Um, can we try and catch him? Oops. Yes. He's level 14, so this should work, right? Didn't work. All right. And we lost a move. No, we didn't. We're good. Okay, let's just take him out then. Ember. Nice job, Cyndaquil. Yay, look at that. Hey, we can evolve somebody too. Cool. Let's evolve that one, you guys. Let's evolve them. So it's Cascoon. Okay. You ready to evolve Cascoon? Here we go. Let's do it. I love that you get the choice. You don't have to evolve them if you don't want to. You know? Maybe you like how cute they are. Like Cyndaquil. Oh my gosh! It's a, so it's a flying type now? You're so cute! Look at you. Okay, cool. So how about your moves? Should we check your moves? Okay. Oh, you know, we need to revive. Okay, so we have four moves. Iron defense. Okay, so we can't learn nothing new because those are all, that's just four. Okay. We need to uh, revive whoever passed out. Who was it? Use. Poor little Shinxie passed out. And then let's actually heal heal some people here. Uh, 33. We can just use... Oh, you guys, I didn't craft any regular medicine. I'm so silly. Uh, okay, we'll just use it. I guess I could... No, wait. No, just kidding. Let me use some berries. On Shinxie. There we go. Let's see, I have to use two. Okay, cool. All right, we're good. Okay, let's take off. Here we go, guys. Here we go. <gasps> you guys, is that Pikachu? <laughs> I don't know which one I should do. Maybe this one? <laughs> I really want Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu. Okay, so how are my... This is effective. Aqua Jet. All right, let's do it. Aqua Jet. Pikachu! He's looking around. Okay. I don't want to defeat him, though. I don't want to... I want to catch him. Let's try the quick attack. Okay. Can we catch him now? He's looking around. You guys, maybe we can catch him. Yes. Can we catch Pikachu? <laughs> please, please. Dang it! Why? Should we try it again? I really want to catch him. Let's try it again. Oops. Yes. Weasel will be okay. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We might need a better Pokeball. I don't know. Yes! You guys, we caught him! Yes! Awesome! And he's level 12. Sweet! Alright. Should we catch this one too? Have we already caught one of these? I don't even know, guys. Oops, that's the wrong thing. But they probably like that, right? Hey, buddy! Did we, did we, have we caught one of those things yet? I don't even know. We caught him. Yeah, he's new. Okay, cool. Alright, good. 
Let's uh, switch to our uh, Pokemon here and let's grab whatever's in this tree. And keep going. Who's that guy? Look at that guy. <gasps> a little, little, little Pikachu. I kind of want to battle him. This time we'll defeat him. Okay, we're gonna use Aqua Jet. Go, buddy, get him! Yes! Critical hit, nice! <gasps> uh oh, am I paralyzed? <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Alright, let's switch Pokemon. How about, let's see, effective, not very effective, not very effective, effective. Let's switch to this one. Come back, Weasel! Dust Tox. He's looking around. Perfect. Let's get him. Let's do, uh, let's do confu- no, let's do, uh, tackle. Yeah. Nice. And we defeated him. Perfect. Cool. All right. Let's keep going. What does this guy want? Let's go talk to this guy. It's kind of easy to get distracted in this game, you guys, honestly. What does he want? Hey, buddy. What's up? He's a Pearl member. Have you ever come across a tree shaking and swaying? No. I suspect that's because Pokemon are up in the tree. Oh, cool. Okay, I'll keep my eye out for that. Hey, I kind of want to catch that bug type. I think... Fire type, right? Against the bug type. Or at least battle him. Crick, crick, cricketune, cricketune. Okay, Cyndaquil, let's get him. Let's do Ember. Nice. All right, I wonder if we can catch him now. Ow, <gasps> Cyndaquil. Okay, let's try and let's try and catch him. Yes. Hopefully we've gotten him down far enough to catch him. Yes, we did it. Good job, Cyndaquil. Nice, okay, I probably should heal my Pokemon really quick. Actually, no, we'll wait till we get up there to where we're going before we heal him. Time to use Ember, cool. Hey, buddy. Oh wait, it's one of the, what am I doing? I don't really want to battle him right now. Should we get one of these Zubats? Oh, they're mad at me. There we go. Fight, okay, do, how are our moves? Effective, effective. Okay, let's do Aqua Jet. Nice. <gasps> Careful, Buizel. Okay, I'm gonna try and catch him now, you guys. Oops. Yes. Ah, oh, dang it! You little punk. All right, that's fine. We'll just take him out. Nice, good job, Buizel. Good job, little buddy. You're so good. All right, let's carry on to our destination. Get that stuff. Hey, little Bidoofs. How you guys doing? Oh, <gasps> you guys look. So it's not the noble Pokemon, but it's an alpha. What is that? Is that something I can get? It is. Iron Chunk. That's cool. Iron Chunk. Hey, there's another one right there. I've never seen those before. Let's get that one too. Okay, I don't know if I can fight that alpha, you guys. My Pokemon are kind of hurt. Some of them. And we have other work to do. I do want to get this stuff while we're down here, though. Is that iron, too? 
Cool. All right. Ooh. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's carry on back to where we're supposed to go, guys. That way. Okay. Woo. We'll come back for him later when we're like fully healed and leveled up a little bit. Cause I, last time I fought an alpha, they destroyed me. I want that tree. Okay, do we have to cross this water? Yep. Okay, I guess we're going that way. Whoa, more water. Hey, little buddy. You're cute. We'll come back through here later, you guys, after we get up there. I just want to get, get moving with our mission here. And we'll come back later and fight whatever Pokemon are new. Hey, look at Psyduck. What's up, buddy? I want to fight Psyduck, you guys. <laughs> Let's fight Psyduck. <laughs> what are you doing? Poor Shinxy! Effective, super effective. Let's do Thundershock. Can we catch him now? He might kill us. <gasps> Shinxy! No! <laughs> Dang it. Uh, effective, effective, super effective. Oh, Shinxy's passed out. Okay, let's switch. I want to try and catch him though, you guys. Let's try and catch him. Yes. We get him? Yes! We got him! Good job, everybody. And we got a medicinal link too. Ooh, he's level 16. Awesome. Oops. <laughs> and is a heavy specimen. Can we get this? Okay, buddy. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's carry on. Whoa, did you guys hear that? Someone's attacking me. <gasps> Look at this place. Whoa, this is cool. Can we set up camp here too when we're all done fighting this guy? Hello. This is Leon. I'm Leon of the Pearl Clan, the warden to Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. This is the guy that thinks he's too cool. And you have already deducted that you've come here to meet Cleavor, am I right? Yeah. Of course I am. I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerfully awesome Cleavor has become even more awesomely powerful. <laughs> Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinnoh's divine power. But whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to keep Cle to meet Cleva right now. I'll do anything. What? <laughs> oh, such an earnest desire to meet mighty Cleavor. I have to admit I'm struck by your passion. But well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms by Irida that I am to not let anyone near Cleavor. I will fight you off myself to insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now while you still can. Or face the wrath of my Gumi. I'll take you on, bro. You don't even realize I'm turning you away from your own, for your own safety how sad you are. So, Gumi, and see if you can ooze... Oh, great. I'm gonna battle him. Two of my Pokemon are passed out, too. This isn't good. Come on, Bweezy. Well, Bweezy... Oh, you're hurt. Should I switch to someone else? Hang on. We need to find someone who's not hurt and has effective moves, preferably super effective. Okay, let's switch to this one. Come back, Weezies. Gumi, you're no match for dust talks. Okay, fight. Let's do, uh, okay, should we try this whole thing, you guys? Strong style. This move's power and effects are boosted, but at the cost of making your next turn more likely to come later. Uh-oh. Oh, so then Gumi gets two turns? Is there any point in that? I'm worried about that. Should I just try it? Let's let's try it, you guys. You only live once. Strong style. And it'll put, hey, that's pretty good. And it was a critical hit, so maybe it was the right move. 
but he gets to go twice now. What did he, what did he just do? He raises defense stats, but he's poisoned. Ugh. Dust talks. Oh, you're fine. Oh wow, he's gonna be taken out for sure. Okay, we'll just we'll just do tackle now, I guess. Let's do tackle. I think we won this, you guys. Bye, Goomy. Goomy's kind of cute, though. I want a Goomy. Battle decided. Awesome. Okay, before we take on that, we're gonna take him on in the next episode, you guys. And we gotta heal our Pokemon. Huh? How can this be? Sorry, Leon. I may, have I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleavor now. The only welcome you'll get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. It sounds great, I love that. Normally I'd simply try making him an offering. A nice heaping help of two, his two favorite foods served up with respect to him. What are his favorite foods? Okay. But even if I, even if I, Cleavor's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give any offerings now, not with the way Cleavor is rampaging and running amok, there's nothing that an outsider like you can do. Hey, it's Irina. The ancestors of Cleavor Weirdeer and their cohort drew in Almighty Sinnoh's own power to protect Pokemon and people alike. It's so, it's so said. It's, it's by their grace that our clan that any of us still lives in vast Hisui today. Irida, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleavor has grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength poses a problem for us. If he has indeed struck by the lightning, if he was indeed struck by the lightning, could the bolts have been sent out of the false Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan bows to? False Sinnoh. Cleavor means so much to our clan. I'd hope we could bring the situation under control ourselves, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we even must save Cleavor from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people and Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond and Clan and the Galaxy team. Yeah. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me, could you Galaxy people actually fix all this? Yeah. Could an outsider actually find a way to quell our Lord's frenzy? Yeah. I don't know. I'll figure something out. That sounds very confident, doesn't it? <laughs> I'll figure something out. <laughs> very well. Leon and I will gather foods that please Cleavor in hopes that we might be able to get close. Enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy even if you must search every corner of Vast Hisui. What? Search every corner? What? What do you mean? Like where? For what? Your arc phone is beeping. A mysterious power now enables you to return to base camps in an- Oh, yes! We get instant travel from anywhere. Press the X button while consulting the map of your arc phone. Okay, we'll go back to our base camp, you guys. Something tells me we're gonna need to talk to the professor. Head to the base camp and report what you've learned to Professor Laventon. Okay, guys, we're gonna do that in the next episode. So if you enjoyed the episode, please hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out my channel. Uh, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, bye everybody.